Hey friends, Zen Kuna here. We're using a short staff today, three feet long, 36 inches. These are oak, and we actually got these just at the uh, regular hardware store. All you have to do is sand them, give them a little oil, and you got a nice little short staff. Short staff is very handy, easy to transport, and you can use it in many different ways. And we're gonna show you right now a modification of the snake move with a longer staff done with a shorter staff and show you a couple things you can do with it so starting down in the front you've got your palms facing towards the front so we're going to do our basic snake move so you make your turnover and when you get out here you push it a little bit right and then you bring it back then you push out roll the hand over and bring it across and you're going to push with the opposite hand all right so a little cue on this when you go out and you do your turnover you want to keep as many fingers wrapped around the staff as you possibly can now you might be so tight you can't keep all your fingers wrapped around it but that's okay do whatever you can do but that's the focus so let's do a couple of these so here's our basic low snake. You know that we've also got a high snake or, or a medium snake first. Let's just do that. So that's right around the level of the solar plexus. And we've also got then the high snake where we're going higher and with that rolling of the shoulder over. All right. So obviously with the short staff, you can do all three positions. But what we're going to show you is a little variation that you can do with the short staff or with your longer staff. And that is, bring it across, do your basic. When you get to here, push. So get to the side as far as you can. Then, still pushing with this hand here, push and lift up. Then in the upper position, roll it back. Then when you're rolled back, using the hand that's right in front of your face here, and pull down one two keep your other arm straight three times and then roll it back down push it back out and back to center push across roll it around push out keep pushing as you come up and at the top roll it back from here with this hand going to pull down one two three four it doesn't matter three times, four times, five times, six times, whatever works for you. So let's do it again. Here we are, pushing, rotate, one, two, three. And now I usually only do that the first few times, the, the pumping. It just helps to open the fascia a little bit faster. One, two, three. Now we're just gonna go out and up and back down again make sure you're getting that movement so if we come across boom and come up right you want to get that rotation so we're here and we come up we want this rotation. And when you get that rotation, if you can, you want all your fingers wrapped around the staff as you roll back, okay? And then come back down again. So, looking at it from the other side, push it across, roll it, push it up, and at the top, roll it back, keeping all your fingers wrapped around the staff, and bring it down. All right, a few more times. This time in the middle, push it out, roll it up and back, and back to the middle. And then we'll just stay high and roll, and high and roll. Do it two more times.
So you can see what we're doing right this second is just the regular cobra or snake. When we're down here, the little variation that I'm showing today is where you come all the way up and back down. Now, you can also just do this several times on one side. Keeping all the fingers engaged as much as you can. One more time. And we'll go to the other side, still low position. And roll it up, roll it up. One more time. Excellent, very good. All right, so that's the snake with a three-foot staff. Remember, you're the guru. Listen to yourself, listen to your own boundaries, feel what's going on, do what feels the best for you, play the edge, but don't fall off it.